Welcome back everyone, Jug here, and it's been a while since I've been able to share any of my settlements with you. But what better time than now? With the new Vault Tech DLC for Fallout 4, we have all kinds of new stuff to build with. The actual size of this vault settlement is far greater than anything I've done in the past, so we're going to be running through this very quickly. As usual, I'll be doing this on the PlayStation, so no mods or console commands will be required. With that being said, let's get started. Bethesda has done it again. Here we are at Vault 88. This is part of the Vault Tech DLC for Fallout 4. And before I start building, I'm going to make sure I clear out all of these uglies. I don't want them to come up and start attacking me later while I'm trying to build. they got to go now. And, you know, also I'm going to grab up all of those control boards, bring them to these workshops, and that's going to give you more territory to build in. That's going to, This one right here unlocked the north sector. There's also a couple more that you're going to have to get too. I'm going to clear out all this stuff, get rid of that sign, uh, get rid of these pipes here, make sure I get rid of, uh, let's see, there's a ladder right there, we got a toolbox, uh, it just all of this junk's got to go, so let's get it off the playing field so we got more room to build. Now this is the first hall that you come into, this is the largest hall, and I'm not liking the way I've put these up here, they, you know, they look good, but I'd rather have red. So you can see here that I'm trying to put this red block, but it's not working. So this is probably a good time for me to show you what works and what doesn't work. Now this one's pretty self-explanatory. It doesn't fit on the sides, but it will fit on other open ends just like that. But what about these wood floors? These wood floors don't seem to fit, but they will snap to another atrium floor. And then you can just snap a wood floor to it and then even a uh, wood stairwell if you wanted to do that. The ceilings, the ceilings are a little bit of a, an issue too. But you can just use other atrium pieces just like that and it will fit. The rooms, the rooms don't like to fit either. Why don't these rooms snap? I don't know why these rooms are not uh, fitting, but that's okay. They don't even fit to the, the atrium floors. They will fit to other doorways, though. You can see this doorway right there. Look at that. It will fit. So, uh, also, uh, the doorways only fit to other doorways. So, you can see that that wouldn't work, but it will work if I face the doorway to it. So, doorways on doorways, openings on openings. That's the only way to do it. You know, uh, you can also see here the stairway does not go uh, up high enough. I can't get up to another level using those wood stairways. So I got to use these atrium stairs and either one, the one that goes uh, straight up or the one that has the little uh, zigzag through it, you know, both of those will go up one full level and you can get all the way up to the next level just like that. You can see here that goes up perfect. You see how I've just used it to get up another level. What the sh Before we go any further, it's probably important to note that you should close the vault door behind you. So there's also a couple more entrances you may want to close up to. Just block it with some concrete walls or something. It doesn't look like much right now. Uh, it's just two levels. I've only went up one level. Uh, the power generator out there, I've just got it sitting there just so I can power these lights. Uh, nothing special. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that you can grab these uh, circle windows from the atrium set. And they'll stack vertically right on top of another piece just like that. So I can go up another level that way. Uh, another way is I'll use that the stairwell trick. I'm going to come off of these arms here and you can see that, yep. Just pop that right in there. Uh, there it goes. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And uh, then we can use those as platforms to get up to the next level as well. I know it looks a little bit like a robot. That's not what I'm going for at all. I'm just going to place that floor right there. And I'll put another floor on the other side as just markers. So I have those on the next level. 
And I'm going to have to do that another level yet after this. So after I get rid of these, we'll have this level and then it will look like this. OK, that's just four. We got another level to go. Um, maybe. I don't know. Before we get there, though, I'm going to get these walls in on the sides. So let's start working on it. Why am I putting these here? Um, I don't know. You know, I like the way these the outsides of these uh, wide hallways looked. And I wanted to use them as the wall for my actual uh, atrium room itself. So you can see here, if I bring those walls all the way out and cap the tops of them, it's going to look something like this. And it won't look like a plain wall going all the way through. It'll just, it'll have color and definition to it. Something I wanted to make use of was the power coming out of the actual power room that uh, you can't actually do anything with. So I wanted to actually lead power out of there. Now this carpet trick, it still works. I don't know if you guys have been using it still. I'm sure you have. And yeah, you can go take it all the way through here. I'm just checking it. I'm going to drop it a couple times just to make sure that cord doesn't break. Because if you go too far with it, the cord will snap. So I'm just going to go right around through here and just stick it right on that wall right there. There it goes. Look at that. And the cord goes right through the ground, the wall, whatever was there previously. Uh, I, could, I now have power coming out of there. Now the reason I'm showing you this here is because I wanted to show you how this lined up. So I'm going to put a floor here. Just This is lined up exactly with the entrance hallway. So if I put one on this side and then I put another one over here on this other side, if I come out here and look at this, you can see that that does not line up with the other side. Now let me show you the other side. This is the other side. Look at this. Yeah, so these don't line up properly with the actual walls themselves. So you can even see a little bit of a gap there on the side. So I can't bring out any tunnels on the left side. I can only bring the tunnels on to the right side over here. So this is where all of the exits from the elevator is going to go. So we've made a little more progress here. I'm going to just hop up here, take a look at the place, let you see the walls. We still got that back wall to build, and that's just this room. So yeah, we're going to have to start cooking. We're going to, I'm just going to start dropping all these floors down, and you know I probably should even just speed this up, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let you see at least a little bit of snapping. You know, maybe it maybe it's just me I feel like you need to see this part for some reason <laughs> I don't know so we got the floor done I'm just gonna go ahead and put a doorway in here and uh, try and fit a uh, hallway and doorway there we go so it was snapping uh, it's not snapping now um, anybody that has built one of these bases uh, and is watching this you know exactly what I'm talking about that trying to fit some of these pieces are incredibly frustrating sometimes I'm gonna go through and just take a good look at it with the walls you know, I didn't like the way that squared off top was, so I'm going to do what pretty much everybody else does and use these. The, they look good. Why not use them? So I'm going to go ahead and just put these in here. The I guess they're the, the new atrium ceilings, and I like them. I like the way they look. Of course, I'm going to have to go back through and change some of these walls now that I've got those in there. So I'm going to go ahead and switch those out to windows. So let's jump ahead a little bit here. We've got these wide hallways. Uh, these are the doorways. These are the corners. Uh, this is the one I'm looking for. I want to snap this wide hallway to the other piece. And I'm just going to basically bring this all the way around through this entire pass. And eventually you're going to get to these stairs here. Now, I'm going to go over here to the right here so you can just see that I've bent this around this entire corner and 
you know, goes all the way back to the atrium hall, the, the first building we was working with. And it doesn't, uh, it's not separated. It's all connected. It all snaps together. So it's just one solid seamless piece going all the way out to the stairs. Now, if we go out to these stairs, you can see that I'm just going to drop these uh, utility stairs on these hallways now. And it's just going to take a few of these. I'll just, uh, well, okay, I, I can't reach that one, so let's just put another one in here. So I'll just drop a utility stair there. And then I'll just drag these other stairs over so they can snap into place. If I come over here to the ground, you can see that it it's a perfect match. It goes right down to the ground. Uh, it's just it's completely level. They thought that through when they was making the the entire cavern. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill up some of the outside here because I don't want a, just a straight line going all the way down, just one solid stairway. Uh, I'm just going to fill up the outsides all the way around. Now, in order to get over top of this big hump here, I've got an elevator. This is just a two-story elevator, but I don't really want the, uh, you know, just, I don't want to be able to see through the elevator. I want to be, I want it to all be enclosed and it to look like one big room. You can see that it's just open on all sides here. So I'm going to go up to the top of this area and just get rid of the elevator just for now. I'm going to replace that with uh, just one of these utility four ways and just snap it into place where the elevator would have been and this is going to allow me to put uh, walls on that now you can see here here's a wall or they're end caps and there's one and I'm just going to go ahead and place those on all sides here so get back here so you can see it then once those are done I need to put the elevator back in order to put the elevator back, I'm just going to put a uh, atrium floor down. There's the atrium floor. Now we're going to go back and grab just any other floor. Uh, it doesn't have to be the wood floor. It could be something from the warehouses or from the barns. But once you have that wood floor in, then you can snap the elevator right back into place. Then we can get rid of that wood floor, put the old, uh, put the old atrium, not the atrium, but the... Uh, the utility hallway back into place. I just gotta find the utility hallways. There we go. Now this is the only area I really wanted to be out in the open. It goes over top of the water. Uh, it's got a nice water pump there that you can take a look at and I just kind of wanted to make use of it. I didn't want to hide all that. So this is the only area that I'm actually going to be coming outside of the vault to be able to see this with this railing. And of course it goes right back into the building again on the other side. And uh, eventually, you know, after some work, it's going to look like this. And I'm going to go ahead and continue around. So I need to tear out some of the back of this building first. So uh, right here you see what I'm doing. I'm just tearing out the building, trying to get these to fit. I don't know how this piece right here fits. Somehow it does. I, I get it, it to lodge in there. If you're not having that same amount of luck, that's okay because I go through several different models trying to make this work. And this isn't, I, I don't think that this is where I end up with. So there's also some gaps over here on the side, the left and the right. I'll have to fill all that in. We need to make our way through this cave though. And in order to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and start putting some of these utility hallways through here to try to get through here. This is really hard to get through. Uh, this was the closest I came. And, uh, you know, I go around this corner here and then a big pipe sticks through. Now, if I can get up in here. There we go. I just I can't pass through with that pipe sticking through the wall. Even if I duck, it's it's not letting me through. We need to come up with a new method to get through here. And so I'm going to go ahead and take you to another section of the cave where I'm going to show you um, exactly how I'm going to get through these caves. So right here I've just placed a bunch of atrium floors on the ground there. 
and I'm going to put another atrium floor, just stack it to a stairwell here. Now if I climb to the top of the stairwell and click on it, see it just it turned a little bit on me there. So it's not a bad idea to just swivel it around just for a second. There you go. Now I'm going to press it again. And if you look at it, it's going to line up perfectly with the one below it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do that a bunch. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another atrium floor. And these other atrium floors need to be raised up so it doesn't try to snap to anything. I actually, I don't think I needed to raise that up any, but I'm just going to anyways. So here you see I'm just raising those floors up. Now, there we go. See there? It goes right down on top of the other one. I'm going to keep doing this over and over and over. I'm just going to speed this up so you don't have to watch too much of it. And then um, I made a mistake there. There we go. Okay, so I want to do this until I have enough to get all the way through a hallway. And this, this hallway here is unrelated, but if I get rid of all this, you see that these are all nice and neat, stacked up. And we can use these to snap at any level that we want now. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the hallway we was just in where we was trying to get those pieces through there. And you can see I've just stepped all of these up just like this. And of course I can take those and now convert them into the utility hallways which I was trying to originally get through here and it's going to start looking a little bit something like this. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff that I've just left on the floor. I don't need that one. So there we go. See how it just keeps stepping up one step at a time? Now that's a problem if you're trying to run power through here and using those new power generators. Uh, it's not going to run through your hallways. You're still going to have to use connectors on the outsides of your hallways to get power through here. But uh, you can see that it looks almost seamless just going all the way through the hall. I'm going to go ahead and put a um, some little, uh, what are they called? The trim, I guess is what it's called in the game here. I'm just going to drop some trim on the bottom of these uh, hallways just so it looks like it was maybe meant to look like this. Now it takes a little bit of work to get this to line up properly and go all the way around to the other side. I had to use some scaffolding frames to snap these ramps onto and I am actually not liking these ramps here so I'm gonna go ahead and switch them up and use the the ramps that have the railing on them yeah these are the ones I'm wanting and if you have the concrete walls the concrete is something that came along with the new uh, not new but it was from DLC it works really good for covering up any gaps you've got it'll go through almost anything So this is starting out on the other side. Uh, I went ahead and went down the other route and this is where the overseer's area is going to be. So I'm just speeding this along because it's a whole lot of the same thing. I'm just snapping a bunch of these overseer pieces into place. Um, that's about it. I'm going to do this on a few different levels. Uh, come out here, we got an elevator area. and. Um, I don't think, you know, the elevator is not working yet. I don't have power coming through here other than uh, just what's already installed on the wall there that you can see the little bit of light from. But, yeah, that's about all. I'm going to go ahead and go up top and take a peek up here. These caves are not very easy to get through. Anybody that's tried this, you know that th the pieces just don't like to snap into place. Not, not only that, but there's just not enough room for you to work with. So really the only thing you can do with it is just try and fill in some gaps. It's, in my opinion, it's okay if some of this cave shows through. It kind of just adds character to the building, makes it look like it's been there for a while. But I don't want too much cave, 
So I'm going to fill in a lot of these walls with uh, this concrete here. You see we got some floors in. Uh, that floor there is empty. It's going to get replaced with a larger floor. And if you keep going through there, it comes right back out here to where we was just working at the overseer area. Now I'll go ahead and continue this path around and we'll try to get it to go a complete loop all the way out this way. Actually, I don't think we're going to get in a complete loop because I think this area runs out to the subway. We'll have to see when we get there. This is kind of a maze, a labyrinth to me still yet. So we'll find out. So we're just speeding along, trying to get some of this done. Uh, a lot of these pieces just you gotta you gotta go where the cave will let you go in most circumstances. Now you might come across something like this that you can't get out of your way. It's too heavy to lift. So just pull out an explosive weapon and blast that. Look at that. Just gets it right out of your way for you. You do that with anything that you can't carry. Uh, well, the bodies anyways. So if you got something that gets in your way. And I've filled most of this in all the way up the stairs. We still got some more filling in to do. But this, yeah, it looks pretty good. There really isn't much rhyme or reason to the direction that I'm going with most of this stuff. I'm just trying to fill in the gaps and make use of all the room that I can. When I get to a large area, I try to start filling it in with rooms just like this. And, you know, a lot of them I don't even end up keeping because, you know, I think some of these I go back and I find bigger, better, grander ideas that I wanted to go back and put in these in the place of these rooms. Now... It's really hard for me to show you how big this base really is without showing a side by side. So that's what I'm about to do here. I'm going to just, I'm going to shut up for a little while. I'm going to put a little music on and I'm going to let you just see the before and after of this base.
And I'm sure you thought that was the end of the video, but I can't go anywhere without showing you what it looks like decorated. So, I, you know, I can't do every single room, but I'm going to take my time through some of these rooms and show you what uh, they look like. Uh, you know, I guess it's not necessarily a diner. I like, you know, I kind of decorated this more like a diner, but it is technically a cafeteria. Uh, let's see, we've got a, a little jukebox there, ice machine, a bunch of decorations all over the place. You know, I'm just now noticing as I'm watching this that that pop machine is not plugged in. That's okay. We'll live with it. Um, of course, the monitors there are just used as registers. We come back here into the kitchen. I wanted this to look like a kitchen, so we've changed the floors out to uh, kitchen floors. They're not called kitchen floors, but they look very much like kitchen floors to me. And a little hot plate area there. Now, if there's people back here and they're trying to rummage about and cook, you're, they're just going to knock everything over. So uh, it's I, I captured this before they started knocking it all over. And now a lot of people are taking some seats. You can see that they all sit down and they take a, a bite one to two bites and then the food just uh, magically disappears just like that yeah so it's really good food now we are into a, a new area uh this is i guess i, I kind of called this a prison it's uh, just a prison block rather um these are just regular lights that are plugged into uh, the walls there on the sides and if we go in here, we can see we got some inmates already in here. And Preston should be in here somewhere. I don't see him right now, though. But we'll take a look at this wall here. This is uh, not necessarily the wall, but the, these, uh, these little arms or bars. These, are, these go to the conveyor belts. And what I've done here is I've just rigged them up so that when you click this activate that switch and look at that i really like that visual effect but it's not easy to do so let's take a break and i'm going to just show you real quick how i do that So you've seen me make these before, and uh, if you haven't, then you've seen it now. It's essentially just a bunch of small wood floors that I use to snap at different heights. Now you're going to see why I'm making that here in just a second, but first I want to show you all these delayed on switches over there on the side there. And they're going to be connected to a bunch of conduits that go over the top. So let's get a stairway here, or not a stairway, but just some stairs, anything that I can use to get up top. And see there, I've just aligned these up. They don't have to be this neat, and obviously uh, they could even be neater. But that's just to get the cord to go over top of the hallway so they don't drag straight through. So let's go ahead and get rid of those stairs, and let's start connecting all these delayed on switches to their conduits above them. Just like that. And now we'll go from each of these delayed switches down to the diverter. Now you need a left diverter over here and then you need a right diverter on the other side because they both they both go different ways so don't get them confused. And then from the diverter it goes to the next delayed switch. So from a delay switch to the diverter back to the next delay and then I'm just going to drag this in here the best I can you see the way I've got these carpets lined up the reason I've done that is because I'm going to want to be able to put walls through here so I don't want to be able to see the carpets so I've pushed them over to the side like that and you th this doesn't have to be exact 
but the closer the better. Now I can use these small wood floors to come out and build a next level to this. See there? And then I can go get another diverter and stack it right on top of those carpets. Or carpets. Stick it right on top of the small wood floor. This is what it looks like once you get four high with four mats. And all of those diverters stuck to the mats. And eventually, you know, you go all the way and you get something like this. Very neat. This is the vault door. This vault door comes with the DLC and it's a really cool door. I've got a little laser trip wire at the bottom there so when we come in it triggers the lights one at a time going all the way around and you just store all your fancy guns in here. The barber shop left one thing to be desired, and that was mirrors. I didn't have any mirrors, so, I mean, we make do with what we've got. And, of course, all these hallways, the wide halls, uh, they all look very similar. I've just put a lot of clutter around the area, and uh, these neon lights around the sides, I thought that that was uh, something that made them stand out a little bit better. Of course... I overdid it with these neon lights and it caused a lot of other lights to start going out. So I had to change the lights around just a little bit. Nothing too much. Mindless lunatics. Where's the off switch? Packed them in like sardines, didn't they? Yeah, she don't like being here. And here we got a little uh, shooting range. A little indoor shooting range. Go into a, a small soundproof room here first, just to make sure that anybody firing weapons in here isn't uh, disturbing the peace on the other side of these windows. And look at that. An explosive sniper rifle all set up for us. What are the odds? Go ahead and take a few shots here. Now, I don't know if you noticed that, but that guy's head just flew off. And we're back to the atrium, the very first room we started working on. We're on the third floor right now, in case those numbers on the wall were not a dead giveaway. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, just, you know, kind of explore this area a little bit. You know, I want to just show you what I did with it. Um, the lighting, obviously, is a definite issue. you gotta, you got to load these places with lights to get them to light up. But if you put them in the right places, you can get this place pretty well lit. I've got lights on all these gratings that go along the tops of these plants. And this has pretty much been turned into a... Uh, just a, a hydroponics area where we can uh, grow our our plants and food so we can stay down here for many 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 years our time together has come to an end but not for long i'm going to be back here in the next couple of weeks i may even try and push out something with uh, no man's sky but i'm not sure about that yet you guys let me know in the comments if any of this stuff helped you out hit that like button and i'll see you next time <laughs>